Well, good morning, 2.27 in the morning. I am taking off to Sacramento. Uh, my, uh, the youngest uh, puppy uh, was very upset. <laughs> Woke up everybody in the house and uh, yeah, that took a while to get out, but uh, I'll be back soon. Anyways, I'm taking all of you on a huge trip to Sacramento for the Western. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it will be an adventure. So uh, stay tuned. So we made it to Tone Ranch. We're getting some gas. The trailer was a little loose. It was raining. What else can go crazy? <laughs> so, gonna take a short break and then uh, we'll get back on the road. So pulling a trailer is not that bad. As long as you're going straight, it's a piece of cake. Uh, it's just when you uh, stop to get gas and, and uh, make U-turns and so forth. That's when it gets a little tricky. You just gotta pay a little more attention about uh, how high you are and um, what's around you as far as uh, gas pumps, uh, poles, other cars. But other than that, it's a piece of cake. So we're uh, approximately about an hour out. The, the drive is amazing. I mean, you have the countryside is now, well, it's still pretty much green from all the rain uh, earlier this year. It's beautiful. Traffic is uh, light, but uh, that was at the cost of me leaving at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's almost uh, kind of like a meditative type of session. You, you sit there and you can just gather your thoughts and and uh, decompress a little bit. But uh, it's awesome. It is a little windy though, so. Uh, it's funny how the uh, trailer just grabs the wind and just kind of moves you side to side. But um, I'm glad the road is a lot more uh, smooth and less potholes for Merced County. Of course, I heard they uh, give out a lot of tickets down here, so you got to be careful about that kind of stuff. So we're almost there. Stay tuned.
Good morning. Uh, early morning, six o'clock. Uh, Thursday, we're ready to shoot. We're gonna go out there. I'm gonna try to get a good pace. Take my time. Make sure my eyes start to focus onto the targets, and then um, start adding speed as we go along. Um, I guess the uh, schedules for all of uh, one through one through eight, or one through seven, I believe today, and then uh, as many as we can in Cowboy Town. So we'll see what happens. Um, but uh, I'm taking all of you guys along so you guys can see what it uh, takes to shoot a Western or a regional uh, uh, championship. Uh, it's uh, a lot of great people out here, so stay tuned. So I nicked the steel, it wasn't a solid hit, so that don't count. So I had to go re-engage, that cost me a couple seconds. But otherwise, uh, it looked pretty good, uh, it was pretty smooth, speed's starting to come back. Shot uh, stage six. That was a uh, horrible, horrible stage. Not too good. Uh, I need to focus on what, what's going on. Too many things going on at one time. So uh, I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit and we'll see what happens. So we're here with Brian at the Western. What the heck? How you doing? Doing pretty good. The last stage went really well. The first stage on day one, uh, I just had to remember my cadence. Uh, oh, as yeah, far yeah. as yeah, sending right. a few extra rounds, great, great. it's only one round per target. Well, it's awesome seeing you. Yeah, you too, man. Well, keep up the good, good work. Seeing you. All right, guys, All right. we'll see you later. So stage one was taken care of a little faster. Uh, I'm still uh, a little fatigued from uh, setting up during the week. So uh, my uh, st my uh, sight picture is a little shaky still, but um, I'm, it's coming back uh, it's slowly but surely. Uh, I should have been practicing a little bit more uh, as they always say, but uh, things are starting to look good. Ready, stand by. 
So stage three was a uh, pretty fast uh, moving stage. Uh, I try to stay smooth, uh, rhythmic, and uh, made sure that I had my cadence. Uh, shot it pretty good. I felt pretty good about it. Uh, I had a pretty good time. Uh, we'll see how that work holds out with the uh, other amazing shooters in uh, this uh, championship. Squib yeah, City? Squib? Yeah. Damn, good thing you caught it. Alright guys. What happened, Paul? What happened? I got a bullet jammed in my barrel. And then what? You, you gotta stop after that point? Yeah. Can't keep shooting, right? Uh, unless I want a gun to blow up on my face. So last stage, I had a uh, stage malfunction. Well, not a stage malfunction, but a gun malfunction. So I had to stop. Um, and um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that a little bit later. Here we go. Are you ready? Stand by. So there was a lot of uh, changes going on before I shot it. Uh, I was uh, kind of in the, uh, the groove to shoot it a certain way and I just kind of forgot. But I uh, added an extra uh, shot which caused a penalty. So um, tough day for me <laughs> today. So we're gonna keep on moving on and uh, we'll uh, shoot the other stage. Thursday. It's uh, the end of the uh, first day of uh, competition for the staff. Went out there, uh, did my best. It was cold. Had a slow start um, trying to find my uh, shooting eyes. Couldn't see the targets very well. <laughs> so um, things were rough today, but uh, we'll, we'll hopefully have a better day tomorrow. Tomorrow will be our second day. Uh, we're finishing up the uh, 14 stages and then um, general population will start to uh, come in uh, they I believe they start on Saturday so Saturday and Sunday and then Sunday will, will be the end of it so I'll, I'll keep you guys uh, updated with what's going on I just had dinner I am full and tired and sore dehydrated uh, and obviously sun whipped a little bit so I'm gonna get uh, to bed early and um, We'll, uh, we'll talk tomorrow, all right? Uh, morning. 
Whew. Today is Friday. Last day of staff uh, competition. Uh, we got, uh, I believe, five more st uh, stages to go through. So I'll just go through, try to finish those up best I can. Uh, try to enjoy myself at this point. Uh, it was a tough day yesterday. Uh, a little disappointing, especially when I had a uh, ammunition malfunction. But um, nobody got hurt. No harm, no foul, other than my uh, pride <laughs> and the uh, the championships. But uh, I'm here more to hang out with my friends and and the team and so forth, and rather than to uh, try to compete against everybody. But uh, it was just nice to go out to and try to shoot as as best you can, especially when you're shooting really well. It feels pretty good, but uh, because of all of the components and um, cost for traveling and so forth getting a little tighter. It's it's difficult to uh, practice uh, as as much as I want to, but um, I think uh, I can make a, a bigger effort to, to try to do so. And I'll show you that in uh, upcoming videos. But uh, today we're the goal is to go out there just to enjoy ourselves, try not to get frustrated, um, keep a positive attitude, and. Uh, just do the best I can. I'll just treat it as practice that um, I wanted to get, but I couldn't get. And so now I have the opportunity to do so. So um, come on out and uh, take a look and uh, we'll see what we can do. Stand by. So I just finished uh, shooting the car stage. It was tough getting out of the car. Uh, everything was really tight. But uh, I managed to uh, make sure that uh, everything was all taken care of and smooth. So um, hope you enjoyed that footage. Uh, we're on to the next. Stand by. Shooter ready. Stand by. Going into uh, light and then a dark uh, room is not always very comfortable. You still gotta have your eyes changed a little bit, so my uh, my aim was a little off, so I uh, missed one there. But um, all in all, it was a pretty good stage. I just uh, don't uh, ever practice stuff like that, but uh, <laughs> how exciting!
here at Chrono. This is the last part of uh, the uh, match. So uh, all my equipment will be checked. Uh, my ammo will be checked. And um, hopefully uh, they all pass. Otherwise, uh, all that work uh, down the drain. So let's see what happens. We're here with Brian. Brian's going to uh, check me out and make sure that I'm legal. If not, uh, he's going to send me home. Yeah, you got to watch this guy. <laughs> so stay tuned. Well, apparently, uh, I passed. So we're all set. Thank you for, very much, Brian. No problem. So we're all set and ready to go. We'll talk a little bit later. Yeah. It was a, uh, I would have to say, a very fulfilling week uh, helping out the crew over there in Sacramento and uh, trying to shoot. It seems that uh, my plate was definitely full and uh, trying to shoot was, was somewhat of a challenge. Although I had a uh, mishap with some uh, ammo, I uh, tried the best I can and I uh, finished the best I could. <laughs> The uh, group that I was uh, shooting against, uh, those guys are just phenomenal. Uh, they're at a whole totally, totally different level, and um, it's not something that I can take lightly, and uh, I, I won't in the future. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go back to uh, training and practicing, getting my uh, marksman shit up <clears throat> so I can compete at that level once again. Um, I'm hitting some traffic going through uh, uh, Fresno, but uh, it's starting to clear up now. And I just wanted to touch base back with you guys, just let you know that uh, the uh, the trip was uh, uh, it was an amazing time. Um, it was uh, st stress relieving, and uh, I got to spend it with uh, uh, half the team, uh, and uh, it was it was amazing. I'm going to focus on driving and I just wanted to touch back with you guys and say thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you um, uh, have any questions, just leave it in the comments. And uh, like always, be safe and I'll see you on the range.